being a bit useless. So yeah, the squirrel monkeys have enjoyed the snow a lot more than I thought they would. Um, they've been coming out and going on little excursions around the enclosure until they get a bit cold and they run back in and warm up for a bit. They have been taking snowballs and they sort of play with them a little while and then smash them on the floor. Yeah, but they have liked it a lot more than I thought they would. So these guys are native to the upper Amazon basin, so that's uh, South America, and they would never usually encounter snow in the wild. So it is a quite a new experience for them, especially because we haven't had snow like this in London for a long time. But they've really taken to it. Yeah, they really seem to be enjoying themselves in the snow. So it's a nice surprise for me and for them. Come on, guys. You're going to come down? Um, they come from um, Mongolia and China originally and um, they have this lovely thick winter coat so that will get even thicker by about February it will be at its thickest and that's a really good insulator so um, even this weather they tend to sleep out in the paddock they've got a nice warm barn they can sleep in we've been joined by Genghis our other camel um, they tend to sleep outside and if it snows, the snow settles on them and um, it doesn't melt. So we get these camels with these great big sort of white wigs on top of them in the morning. Very, very tough animals. Probably prefer the cold to the heat. Most people think, you know, a desert animal, but where they come from, it goes down to about minus 40 in the winter and about plus 50 in the summer. So it's a huge temperature difference of about 90 degrees, which um, very few animals would experience.
basically treats for everyone. Imagine getting your lunch stolen. Oh, no. <laughs> they do get lots of food. Let's <laughs> be quick and marinate. Yeah. She will always enjoy a little bit of carrot. It's tasty. Okay. And it's currently 26 degrees about here in the rainforest. We keep it about this temperature to reflect the natural uh, environment of the animals that are found in this exhibit. And humidity is around 60 to 70%, while outside it's probably about minus three, snowy and icy. So it's very important that we keep these animals at a comfortable temperature to reflect where they come from out in the wild.